Yo, what's up guys? My name is Jonathan. Welcome to my channel. Take a walk with me. All right, so I'm gonna take you through a little cruise in my town. This is East Hampton, where every celebrity comes out here every summer. They have fun, they pop off. My channel is gonna be a little bit different. I'm a little bit more about health. About 11 months ago, I went through a life-changing accident, breaking my elbow, bones popping out, blood everywhere. It was a very unfortunate thing, but you know what? That made me change my perspective on life, and now I'm all about health. We're gonna hit a little bit of a back workout today, and let's fucking get it. So the most important part, right before my back workout, I like to do my rotator cuff so I don't fuck anything up. The last thing you want is an injury. Just grab a few bands, just rotate left and right. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna set my hips in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this, put my knee in the ground, and fully lunge forward. That's so you don't mess up your lower back once you are lifting heavy. Explain a little bit about my accident. How there's bones everywhere, there's blood everywhere. So this is a scar. I have 11 screws in here followed by a big fat plate. It's not fun to carry around. But three months after my second surgery, I decided to take over my life. I decided to take charge and join a gym. I was lifting five pound weights. I was really upset. Those first two months were really tough because my arm was at an angle like this. I couldn't move it. I had doctors had to put this on an angle and stretch it down. It was excruciating, it was painful. But it was worth it because it taught me to work harder. It taught me to push myself. It taught me to never give up. That is such an important thing in life. Now, we're gonna show you six months later what the progress has been. So, let's fucking get it. Let's start off with 60 really quick. We're not gonna go too heavy. We're gonna go up to 110, but just for a little warm up, two sets, we're gonna do it quick. I'm gonna see the row machine. Again, we're starting with 60 pounds. Anytime you're warming up, you wanna get that full range of motion. Go slow. You want to activate those muscles. That mind to muscle connection is huge. Great, now we're going to put it up to 80. Good little warm up. Now we get right back to it. We're done with this machine. Let's go to the next. All right, we're gonna get into some lat pull downs. We're gonna start with an easy 110. You wanna make sure your arms are always up in this stance. And then when you pull down, you're not gonna grab the bar because then you're taking away from your actual lats and you're working more of your forearms. So you're gonna hold it like this, push down. Now we're going to 140. Don't be the asshole breaking the machines. Fuck you. Also, re rack your weights. Fuck you. Be a kind person. This is set number three on lap pull down. My fourth, my fifth, I'm gonna go to failure. This was gonna stick to an easy 12. some seated pulls. Now there's two ways to do this. Okay, when you lean back, you target more of these muscles back here. When you push a little forward, you're gonna be targeting the lats and this muscle right here. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a angle. You don't wanna push the angle too much. Push your arms back, forward, pull. All right, this is the second variation of the same exercise. You're just gonna lean back a little bit. Whenever you feel like that's the last one, push yourself for one more, just one more. Mechanism right here, this is now not bone anymore, it's straight metal. So the part that allows me to move my arm like this, it's all metal, it's like a metal hinge. 
goes in and out, in and out. This, I have perfect movement. Lat pull downs. You really want to start all the way up here and go straight down. Pull as if you're pulling to your belly button. All right, now it's time for some bent over rows. We're gonna start with 60. I know a lot of people do this with 150 pounds, 200 pounds. I can't eagle lift, I have limitations. Stick to your limitations, you don't want injuries. Here we go. Time to work out some shoulders. This is where it's a little more key to not ego left, just because I can't be putting too much weight on this part, on the hinge that actually locks into my elbow. I'm gonna do 25s. Let's get them 35s in. Moving up 10 pounds on my shoulders, just for you guys, just to show you that. Push your limits, but be safe. Now it's time for my cool down. I like to not put too much weight on my shoulders with my cool down, just because the screws, when they, where they interact with the bone, they pull a little too hard if I do some certain motions. Bend over like this, push. This way we are completely isolating the shoulder muscles. But I don't do no party album. It's all about the felonies, yeah. The last exercise we're gonna get in is front raises. We're gonna target this part of the shoulder. We usually do this with 12 pound weights. I'm doing it with eight, so we're gonna do more reps. Just wanna put your arms to the side here. Push. So they can make a double profit. Smoking gas to the emphysema. Bombing tracks called in Hiroshima. I said I want an independent. But they just want that big investment. You say you want a party album. 